Hi everyone. Welcome to On Point. In this video we are going to discuss about semen analysis. So without any delay let's start the video. Semen analysis. A semen analysis is a test to measure the amount of semen a man produces and determine the number and quality of sperm in the semen sample. Semen is the thick, white fluid released during ejaculation. The normal color of semen is gray-white. A semen analysis is usually one of the first tests done to help determine whether a man has a problem fathering a child or infertility. A problem with the semen or sperm affects more than one-third of the couples who are unable to have children. Why it is done? A semen analysis is done on A man has a reproductive problem that is causing fertility. A vasectomy has been successful. The reversal of a vasectomy has been successful. Before storing in semen banking. Before artificial insemination or sperm donation. Serum volume. Normal, 2 to 5 ml per ejaculation. Abnormal, an abnormally low or high semen volume is present, which may sometimes cause fertility problems. Liquefaction time. Normal, 20 to 30 minutes after collection. Abnormal, an abnormally long liquefaction time is present, which may indicate an infection. Sperm count. Normal, 50 to 150 million per ml, zero sperm per ml if man has had a vasectomy. Abnormal, a very low sperm count is present, which may indicate infertility. But a low sperm count does not always mean that a man cannot father a child. Man with sperm counts below 1 million have fathered children. Sperm shape or morphology. Normal, more than 30% of sperm have normal shape. Kruger criteria, more than 14% of the sperm have a normal shape. Abnormal, sperm can be abnormal in several ways such as having two heads or two tail, a tiny head or pinhead, or a round, rather than oval, head. Abnormal sperm may be unable to move normally, or to penetrate an egg. Some abnormal sperm are usually found in every normal semen sample. But a high percentage of abnormal sperm may make it more difficult for man to father a child. Sperm movement or motility. Normal, more than 50% of the sperm show normal forward movement after one hour. Abnormal, sperm must be able to move forward, or swim through cervical mucus to reach an egg. A high percentage of sperm that cannot swim properly, may impair a man's ability to father a child. Semen pH. Normal, 7.1 to 8.0. Abnormal, an abnormally high or low semen pH can kill sperm, or affect their ability to move, or to penetrate an egg. White blood cells. Normal, no white blood cells or, pus cells. Abnormal, bacteria or a large number of white blood cells are present, which may indicate an infection. Abormalities. Aspermia, it is a condition in which semen is absent. Azoospermia, it is a condition in which sperm is absent. Hypospermia, it is a condition in which semen volume is low. Oligosospermia, it is a condition in which sperm count is low. Asthenozoospermia, it is a condition in which sperm motility is poor. Teratozoospermia, it is a condition in which sperm carry more morphological defects than usual. Necrozoospermia, it is a condition in which all sperm in the ejaculate are dead, or, dead sperm. Polyzoospermia It is a condition in which sperm concentration is high, that is more than 200 million per ml. Piospermia It is a condition in which leukocytes is present in semen, that is more than 1 million per ml. Hematospermia It is a condition in which red blood cell is present in semen. Semen diluting fluid, contains 
sodium bicarbonate 5 gram formaldehyde solution or phenol 1 ml distilled water 100 ml that's all for now for more updates please do like share and subscribe see you in next video thank you